Welcome back to Chloe Loves Comic Books. For this, epi for this episode, um, I want to take a look at Adventure Man. Uh, this is a comic published by Image, uh, with story by Matt Fraction, um, art by Tyrion Rachel Dodson, and uh, Clint Cowles is on letters. And I have been a fan of Matt Fraction since I discovered his work on Immortal Iron Fist. Uh, full disclosure, I, I really wasn't that aware of the, of the Iron Fist as a character until the Netflix series came out. But after watching that, I got curious, and I, that's what led me to Immortal Iron Fist. And uh, Matt Fraction did, you know, the whole first volume of that, and it's it's pretty fantastic, and, and probably something that I need to make a video on all on its own because it's it's definitely definitely up there for me. Um, but that's that's what you know kind of put him on my radar. Um, so from that point on, I just kind of started, you know, every so often checking out, you know, seeing what Matt Fraction was was working on. And when I kind of read a little bit of the detail about Adventure Man, um, that's where I got really curious, and so I, I put that on my list, and, and, and here it is. Now, one of the inspirations to make this video is the story starts off in a way that I was not, I, I mean, it was, it was unusual to me, and it, and it threw me a little bit. Um, there's, uh, well, well, we start off issue number one, and we're kind of like at this, it's this climactic battle with Adventure Man. Kind of the namesake of the comic it would seem, and it's it's kind of at the turn of the 20th century. There, there, he and his his crew of, of very interesting characters. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, I don't know. It's a, kind of like a, a steampunk Justice League kind of feel to it, if if you will. Um, they're 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 right about to go into this climactic battle with their arch nemesis, uh, Baron Bazaar, and that's where we start. And it there's a lot of action, and it's very like kind of wild and, and interesting and it, it, feel, it feels very much kind of like a like a serialized adventure story and then all of a sudden it takes this hard stop and in a left turn and we figure find out that this is actually this is not the comic this is not the story of the comic adventure that, man, that we're reading this is a story in this world uh, read by the main character who is Claire to her son Tommy and so it was this that hard shift that it just it, it threw me a little bit um, so, so where I where it kind of came to it was, well, I want to sit down. And I want to read, just read more of the story, and figure out, figure out more of what is going on here. Because what, where they transition from uh, with that story is they go into a lot of depth about Claire and her family, her sisters, her dad. Basically, there's there's a big chunk of, of the second half of issue number one that's, that's a family dinner for them, which was which is I guess interesting, but it just it was a real, real hard shift for me. Um, and I, you know, and I just kind of had a feeling that well, if I sit down and I read this all in a chunk, um, get a get a big piece of the story, that it, it would be it maybe would work better for me. And, and I, I think it, it absolutely did. So again, that's kind of one of the inspirations to make this video. Um, it's worth mentioning here at this point that like the artwork in this is just, just fantastic. Um, you know, we're, we're starting off and it's kind of this steampunk like genre, turn of the twentieth century. Um, as I as I think I said in the Fearsome Dr. Fang video, um, I love steampunk as a, as a genre. I love blimps and dirigibles. If you got it, you got a blimp, you got me. And, and sure enough, that's the part of you know we see some of those in the beginning, which is awesome. Um, and they do an amazing job with that. But then when we move to present day, a lot of it's just kind of for a while is just kind of regular everyday New York. But but the detail in both aspects and it is just phenomenal. And I think it would be fair to say that there's there's as much, as many levels of what's going on in the artwork as there is with the story. Um, you know, every frame of every page is just so painstakingly detailed, and it just, I mean, it just it feels like you're you're really looking at, at you know the world that they've created, and and the style that the Dodsons are using is just it's such a nice sharp, you know, kind of uh, clean clean style. It's just it it it's. It's as much of a pleasure to look at as it is to read. So, um, but yeah, so it did, the story did throw me there at the beginning. But what I now have come back after reading everything and come to appreciate is the depth of character development that is done um, as, as kind of like the, the, the main plot line of the story kind of took a backseat to character development. We, we really get to know Claire, her son Tommy, her sisters, her dad, her family. Um, Claire is a really interesting character to have at the center of a story like this. Um, just, it's not she's not kind of the character that you would expect. She definitely has had a, a previous career. 
Um, I, I believe she was in the police force. Um, something must have happened. She's not in the police force anymore. Um, she has uh, an issue with her hearing, uh, which is really interesting. And, and her family dynamic is explored. And, and her sisters, like we really kind of come to know them a bit, and, her, and especially her son, Tommy. There's a lot of painstaking care spent to get us, make us familiar with those them as characters, and I, I think that once then the story starts to really become uh, more, uh, more of an adventure, more tied into Adventure Man. That's where having such a, a connection to her and her family is so interesting. Um, and I mean, I don't want to, without spoiling too much. What happens is, you know, Claire and her family, this is Adventure Man, the story of Adventure Man. It's something that they know and love. It's maybe not that well known currently, but it's it's kind of like the their old favorite, you know, adventure movie or adventure story from, you know, childhood or whatever. And we get we get a little bit of a of a hint at the end of episode, uh, issue number 1 that well maybe maybe there's a little bit of truth to this story. Maybe there maybe there's a little bit of something in all these, you know, fantasy tales about Adventure Man that maybe is not entirely fantasy. And then we start to build from there. As, as kind of things go on, we get more and more hints in that direction. Um, Claire now runs her, her mom's used bookstore, which is which is very cool. It's a very cool setting. Um, you know, from an art standpoint, like when there's there's some stuff that goes on in, in the used bookstore, which is really cool. Um, but then, then the story kind of starts to build from there. And all of a sudden, this this fantasy story and the reality that we're that we're kind of being shown in, in Adventure Man starts to blur a little bit. And Claire's right at the center of that, and because we know her and her family so much, and and kind of what their dynamic is, as as kind of these lines start to blur between the Adventure Man story and their story, um, that's where it becomes really interesting and really compelling. And that's kind of where that really starts to get moving is at the end of issue number four. So of course you know that's that's the end of volume one. But now I'm now I'm hooked, and now I want to see where this thing is going, um, and and that's you know just finally getting to the end and seeing like that there there was absolutely a reason for the way that the story was portrayed or story was told in the way that it was, um, and just how good the artwork is. That's where I just wanted to take a minute and uh, kind of give you a perspective on this book, and you know something where if it's not on your radar, maybe maybe you want to check it out. Um, I will say that uh, because this is the, these four issues are basically the first volume. There's a trade uh, of those first four issues coming out here soon, so if you can head down to your local comic book shop, maybe they can help you find the four issues. But if nothing else, that trade is coming out soon, so that might be a good good place for you to kind of uh, jump in with the story and go from there. So um, yeah, it, it's just it it's something that it took a little bit to build or, or to, to grab me, but now. Now I'm, I'm hooked, and, and I'm definitely really enjoying this this story. So just want to let you know about it. And, uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. Hopefully you, you check this book out and you like it, and uh, hopefully you like the video. And um, until next time, I'm going to head off, and I'm going to read more comic books, and uh, you should do that too. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and we'll catch you on the next one.